Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma. And also welcome to our first day of our sneaky peeks from our 123rd edition release and our very first Christmas in July. I'm super excited because out of all the 12 years I've been doing um, business with my creative time, I've never done a Christmas in July. So I'm like, you know what? I want to do it this year. It seems like so much fun and I'm so happy that I did because I had such a great time designing this and especially our new paper pad. Wait until you see what we have in here uh, this time. So this brand new paper pad is called Fun Christmas. Again, there's um, six different, um, I'm sorry, not six, 12, six different pages like designs and then there's four of each if that makes sense there's you know front and back so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to show you so this is the front here and then i'll just kind of flip through the pages and that's super cute there goes that and behind that basically it's the same color but like just a little snow background and then we have some cutie patootie little santa faces and then we have that color there and then we have like a text slash script page here which i absolutely love and behind that is that pretty green and then we have another little text page. Um, I love this one. And then behind that is this pretty, like a, almost like a burgundy color. And then we have this page here, cute little background. And behind that, we have this pretty red. And this is the finale of this here. Now this here, we have a total of six tags on here. Now, since there's four um, pages of each, if you were to cut out the, uh, all the tags, you'll have a total of 24 tags just out of one paper pad. And I thought this was super perfect for those of you who want just a really quick tag. You just want to throw it together. One, two, three. This is the paper pad for you. Okay. Oops, let me move this other card out of the way here. Okay. And then, so in addition to, and I think that's, yeah, that's all the pages. Then it starts over with our cutie patootie little snowman faces. But Behind this paper, I made it this really light color, just like a little specks of just like a really light color on there. So just in case, if you just want to basically, now of course you could fussy cut these out if you want, or we could use the coordinating dies, which I'm about to show you in a moment. Um, so this way, if you just only just cut this out, just fussy cut without getting the dies, and then you'll have a clear white uh, canvas in the back. Of course you have a little, little decorative on there, but that's okay. You'll be able to write or um, stamp whatever you want on the back. Um, and then, okay, here goes, let me show you this one first. These are the coordinating dies. This is called the wavy and regular tag dies, okay? Now this here, I had it designed, okay? So basically when you do cut these out, definitely take out the page, take out the entire page, and you're gonna go ahead and just, um, put this over it. You're going to go ahead and line it up very carefully, run it through your machine. You'll have three cards, three tags all at once. I mean, how awesome is that? And then I have these cute little wavy little extra pieces here that you can layer. Um, you can layer on top if you want, or if you don't pick up the tag, um, if you don't pick up the paper pad, you could have this set of dies here with these cute little layers on top and you could go ahead and decorate it with you know however you want okay so we're going to leave this out because i'm going to show you how to do that in a moment um so that is that and then we have our brand new scallop tag dies these are the bottom layers to these okay so you just go ahead and just layer each one on top and they'll layer it beautifully okay and then the other thing we are showcasing today is this, our brand new sweet holiday wishes. Fun, fun um, sentiments in here. You have some really small ones for tags and you have um, bigger ones. If you want to use a smaller one for the outside of the card and bigger one on the inside, however you want or vice versa, we have that. And since, oh, I just want to tell you all, thank you so much for the great feedback last month. Everybody loved the little uh, um, the little matching dies that go with the sentiments. So I definitely did it again and I loved it myself, okay? Okay, so that's part of the new release. Now this is not part of the new release. I'm just gonna show you what I use. This is our existing set we have out. This is the gift card greetings and I use the to and from, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to show you quickly how easy this is, okay? So what you're gonna do is just go ahead and you're gonna, it's, if you have a magnetic little platform, that will be ideal. If not, grab some uh, painter's tape or washi tape or whatever you use to keep your dies, you know what I'm saying, to keep them in, in their place. So basically you're gonna line them up the best you can. And then you know that they're, they're lined up perfectly is when you don't really see too much white in the frame, okay? That's how I had them designed where it'll be perfectly flush. You'll see it. You see how I put it down there? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab my little cover here. Um, put this on top and I'm going to run it through my machine really quickly here. Okie dokie. I went ahead and I ran it through. And then you get these three perfectly cut tags. Isn't that awesome? You know what I'm saying? So you can make tags in no time. Okay, super duper cute. And then you could go ahead and do the exact same thing. Okay, so now with this fabulous die here, you have six adorable tags ready made. You could just use them as is. Go ahead and put your right to and from back there. However you want a cute little message and you could even just tape it on your package, whatever you want to do. And I just think I just love this. I had a dream about this. I'm like, I had to immediately get up and work on this. I've been holding on to this for quite some time and I'm so happy I'm finally able to share this with you. So anyways, so that is it. So I'm gonna show you what, um, go ahead and just quickly put one together. So this is from the paper pad and this is obviously the one that I had, um, what do you call it, cut out. Now, these, my actual um, card, not the, 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 paper from the paper pad is 80 pounds so it's a pretty good weight but if you want it to be a little bit stronger you could back it you could go ahead and back this up with some foam so I'm just going to quickly put this on here really fast and this is super easy to throw together so let's go ahead and just kind of line this up really quick here just like so then of course I would use I would use better adhesive because of this paper has a little coating on it, you know. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just put this on here. Just like that. And then we are going to go and like I said, you don't have to add the foam, but you know, if you kind of want to just give it a little bit of a dimension, why not? I think it's super cute. And I'm just using this right here, my little hole punch here. Now I would have used my other hole punch that has like five in one, but being that I popped it up, it'll be it's a little bit harder for me to get through it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm using the little crocodile here. And then, and I like this because it has this cute little Santa faces behind it. I just think that's just way too cute. And then we're just going to go ahead and just add some twine. I mean, how easy. Now this is, you could use the paper pad as your little backing piece if you don't want to stamp or put anything on there. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to with my kids, I would actually do like kind of make them each different. Like saying, for example, this will be all baby Aaron's tags and these will be all Anthony's. So we don't have to put anything in the back. And if you have three kids, hey, there's three different <laughs> styles here. You know what I'm saying? Super adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the tags that I created here. So what I did was I actually added that little wavy line. Remember that other, the die that's in with the regular stamp, the regular tag dies. I actually added that little wavy line on top and then I popped it up with some foam. Okay, added to some craft paper. And then this is from that um, gift card greetings, the to and from. And then from our brand new um, sweet Christmas, I can't remember what it's called, hold on. Okay, from our brand new sweet holiday wishes, that's the smaller one, wishing you a merry little Christmas. So. I did that to all three of them here. Now I didn't add the little white trim to this because it did kind of cover up Christmas and I didn't want to do that. So this is basically right here, all of these right here. Isn't that super adorable? I'm so excited. So I also wanted to show you that you don't have to only use them as tags. You could use them to decorate cards as well. Now how cute are these, okay? So this one here is from our home to, to yours. And I like it because of course I use the little coordinating die. 
Um, and then I, for this one here, let me show you what I used. These cards, I used my rectangle die layers and I used the one to the second one there for this card. And then for this top portion here, I used the bigger, this is the A2 Fancy Frame layers, layer dies, and I used the bigger one, but I only used half of it. Um, and then I also used for the inside of the card, I use the smaller one, which is, I believe the second one here. Okay, so that's everything that I used for that card. And look at how cute this is, isn't this adorable? Um, then I just add twine, add a little heart, and then I also pop that up on some foam. And on the end, so this is from our home to yours, on the inside is wishing you a joyful Christmas. And then I just cut out the tiny little one from the fancy frame and added it just a little, just a little decor on the inside. That's that. And then the cutie patootie little snowman. I did the exact same thing. Now you could totally mass produce these because the only thing you're doing is stamping the um, this here, the sentiment. Um, you don't have to do like any coloring or anything like that. So there goes the front of the card. And then I didn't add anything here. So I figured it would look cute just the way it is. And then on the inside it says from our home to yours. And the inside says, wishing you a merry little Christmas. And I went ahead and just decorated it with that little piece there, which is the same as that top one. Okay, everyone. So that is it, everybody. That is our very first day of our sneaky peeks from our 123rd edition release, which is our Christmas in July. Head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today. And also, don't forget to leave your comments on all of our blogs. Um, I think there's six or seven of us. I can't remember. So it's not too many. For a chance to win the, the actually, not the three, the four items. Let me grab that pad here. For a chance to win all four of these that we showcased today. The fun Christmas paper pad, the sweet holiday wishes, the, um, oops, you have to put this back in here. This is the wavy and regular tag dies here okay and the little scallop tag dies that coordinate with this but they're sold separately okay um so yeah so leave all of your comments for a chance to win these and starting this friday since it was it is a christmas release i was feeling very giving i wish i could give out more but unfortunately i can't the very first 25 shoppers that shop this Friday, which this is Friday, which is going to be July 22nd, 2022 at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's when everything will be available for purchase. So the first 25 shoppers to start shopping at 8 a.m. will get this paper pad for free. So I figured that would be a perfect gift, uh, Christmas present. OK, and I absolutely love the way this came out. It's it's the best. I love it. So anyways, everybody, thank you so very much for tuning in. Um, have a fabulous, fabulous day, and I cannot wait to see you back here tomorrow for day two of our Sneaky Peaks. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye-bye.